The Gingerbread Man Illustrated by Ted Harris Adapted and narrated by Owen McEwen Featuring characters created by Lindsay Harris Friel A long, long time ago, there lived a little old lady and a little old man. The little old man loved to work in his garden, and the little old lady loved to work in her kitchen. One day, the little old lady decided to bake something special. The little old man thought that that was a wonderful idea. So the little old lady went to her bookshelf, and she picked out a very, very old book with a strange cover and curious markings on the front. She thumbed through the book and found a special recipe. She gathered the ingredients and began to bake a gingerbread man. She made the dough and formed it into the shape of a man. She gave him a striped candy hat and two currants for eyes and candy buttons and a shiny raisin mouth. She put him in the oven to bake for a while. After a time, she went to check on the gingerbread man, so she opened the oven to peek inside. As she did so, the gingerbread man sat up and winked at the old lady. Oh, my! she exclaimed. And then the gingerbread man hopped out of the oven and ran right out the front door. The little old lady and the little old man chased after him, but he was too fast. As he disappeared down the lane, he shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! As the gingerbread man sprinted down the road, he passed by a little boy and a little girl who were tending to their parents' pumpkin patch. They told the gingerbread man to stop so that they could eat him, but he shouted back at them, Run, run, as fast as you can! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! I can outrun a little old lady and a little old man, and I can outrun you! I can, I can, I can! Down the path, the gingerbread man ran past a small gray kitten. She asked him, mm, Will you please slow down so that I might eat you? No, 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 said the gingerbread man. The kitten began to chase him, but the gingerbread man was too fast. He shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I can outrun a little boy and a little girl and a little old lady and a little old man. I can outrun you. I can, I can, I can. Not far down the road, the gingerbread man ran across a raccoon named Ricky. The raccoon asked the gingerbread man, Say there, aren't you a cookie? Indeed I am, replied the gingerbread man. Ricky Raccoon gave chase, but the gingerbread man was too fast. He taunted, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I can outrun a little gray kitten and a little boy and a little girl and a little old lady and a little old man. And I can outrun you. I can, I can, I can. The gingerbread man continued to run down the road until he came across a tremendous groundhog named Admiral Montgomery Scott. The groundhog saw him running, and he shouted, You there, cookie man! Stop running so that I might eat you! But the gingerbread man kept right on running. He ran past the great groundhog and shouted as he disappeared from sight, Run, run as fast as you can! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! I can outrun a raccoon and a tiny gray kitten and a little boy and a little girl and a little old lady and a little old man. And I can outrun you. I can, I can, I can. And on ran the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man had outrun everyone. For now. He came upon a stream. He looked to the left and to the right, but could not see a way across. At that moment, a red fox appeared from behind the hedge. The fox said, Hello there, friend. I see you need passage across the stream. Hop onto my back, and I shall ferry you across. Not a chance, said the gingerbread man. I should not like to be eaten. The fox calmly explained to the gingerbread man, If you try to wade through the stream, you shall get soggy and fall apart. But if you ride on my back, you shall remain dry and cross the stream unharmed. The gingerbread man heard the footsteps of his pursuers off in the distance. They were gaining ground. 
he decided to trust the fox just enough to ride on his back. And so the fox began his trek through the stream with his well-baked passenger. As the creek got deeper, the gingerbread man feared he would become wet, and he started to tremble. The fox suggested, Why don't you hop onto my tail? Then you shall remain dry, even as the water rises. The gingerbread man thought, and then decided that the fox was right. So he hopped up onto the fox's tail and continued his journey across the stream. The water rose as the pair strode deeper into the center of the stream, but the fox's head remained above water. As he got closer and closer to the surface of the water, the gingerbread man became afraid once again. The fox offered, Hop onto my head. My snout will surely remain above water as I need to breathe. You shall safely cross the stream momentarily. The gingerbread man thought better of this, but realized he had no other option, and so he sprung from the fox's tail toward the beast's head. But alas, he never made it. With a snap and a gulp, the fox ate the gingerbread man. Just as Admiral Montgomery Scott arrived, and Ricky Raccoon, and the tiny gray kitten, and the little boy and the little girl, and the little old lady and the little old man, they all witnessed the gingerbread man's final moments as a snack for the clever fox. They were all a bit winded from the chase, and disappointed that they hadn't had a bite themselves. But no one was sad that the gingerbread man had been eaten. He was a cookie, after all, and cookies were baked to be eaten. He was delicious.